Hey guys, it's Prince Rich with Rich Technology Group, and in today's video, we're gonna do a quick unboxing and review of the Poly Real Presence Trio 8800, which is Poly's current flagship conference-style IP phone. But first, remember, you're watching the number one channel on all things business phone systems and business internet services related videos, tips, and advice to help you make the best buying decisions when searching for new service, and maybe even help you save a little money along the way. So hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any new content and so that you're also known notified when new videos release. Okay, so first and foremost, as always, before we jump into this, big thank you to our contacts at Poly for sending this over to us for review, and big thank you to our friends over at VoIP Supply for handling the shipping and logistics. Okay, so I am super excited to see what's in this box because this is the Real Presence Trio 8800, and for those of you who may or may not remember, we actually did a in-depth unboxing and review of Poly Trio 8300. Now, the Trio 8300 is more of a entry-level high-end conference phone and this the poly real presence 8800 is basically what is classified as their flagship or their cream of the crop phone so without further ado let's open this box and see what we got going on all right so here is of course our actual ip phone oh man i'm impressed already i can already tell you guys what one of the pros on this is going to be but i won't spoil it for you we'll get to that when we move along so here's the phone we'll sit this over to the side and see what else we got in the box here so this looks like a poly real presence trio 8800 kind of like a quick start guide that's showing you how to plug things in where to plug things in and what you got and the different types of options looks like some packaging and warranty information and then it looks like last but not least in our box as is always the case is a really long 25 foot cat 5e cable for the conference phone then we've also got in here it looks like some sort of like a mini usb to usb a adapter it looks like a cable protector of sorts here i guess that's supposed to keep the cable from uh, some sort of cable protection and then this looks like some sort of like adhesive bezel protection or something i'm not sure so let's line up our box contents and i'll show you guys everything that we have in the box okay so going from left to right you've got your actual poly real presence trio 8800 ip conference phone here we've got a 25 foot cat 5e patch cable here some sort of like usb adapter and then we've got some sort of cable protection here it looks like it's a cable clamp and then last but not least i'm not sure what this is it's some sort of adhesive bezel or adhesive accessory so that is your box contents at a glance now let's go ahead and power this thing on and we'll jump into just kind of first impressions of what this thing looks like just wow i mean just wow so at first glance you guys first impressions good lord this is a beautiful phone i mean the touch screen on this thing is just absolutely beautiful the other thing that's striking about this that caught me the minute i pulled this out of the box was this entire thing is a speakerphone now for those of you who remember as i already mentioned the review that we did on the poly trio 8300 the trio 8300 had the speaker like like kind of in the middle of the chassis. Whereas this thing, it's like this, this, this in the top and all of it is just one big speaker. So the sound quality on this is probably just absolutely amazing. So taking a closer look here, you can see that just like the Trio 8300 and some of the other newer Holly conference phones, it's actually got the little touch mute thing going on, which is on all sides. So if somebody wants to mute the call from one side of the table or something, you can actually do that with this little touch mute function. The touch screen on it at a glance is nice and very responsive, so I really like that. It looks like it's got Bluetooth here as well, which is kind of cool. So it means that you probably can connect it to a Bluetooth headset or something like that. You've got your contacts here, and then you've also got your recent calls. So it's pretty typical to a typical IP phone. Let's go ahead and flip this thing over and see what we've got by way of interfaces. Well, I am already impressed. Check this out, you guys. We've got LAN in, LAN out. This has an ethernet pass-through on the back of it. And let me tell you, most conference phones that I have reviewed and looked at, they do not have that. They typically just have one port for your internet in, but this actually has a pass-through on it, which is kind of nice. So I guess if you wanted to have this conference phone inside of your actual conference room and then maybe another desk phone or maybe a second conference phone, one at the other end of the table sharing the same extension, you could theoretically do that, having the LAN in and LAN out. So that's actually kind of convenient. It also has dual RJ9 ports here for those of you who may want to use a headset or be in a conference and it be, you know, quiet, maybe a couple of people on the conference or something like that. So 
you've got that there as well. Really quickly, before we move on to technical specifications, I wanted you guys to see the difference and the similarities in the chassis between the flagship Real Presence 8800 Trio and between the entry-level Trio 8300. As you can see, they're both kind of built on the same kind of ergonomics and look, but you know, they're obviously two completely different animals as well in their own right. Jumping into the technical specifications for the Poly Real Presence Trio 8800, it says that it is specifically designed for large conference rooms. So that would explain why the whole thing is basically like one big speaker, like we were looking at earlier. It says that it has a gesture-based, multi-touch capable capacitive touchscreen. And that touchscreen is five inches and it is an LCD, which is a 720 by 1280 pixel, nine by 16 aspect ratio. It has an on screen screen virtual keyboard, which I was messing around with a little earlier if you guys saw that. It has one USB 2.0 type A port and one USB 2.0 micro USB port which is B by the way. It does have integrated Bluetooth, so we've got that there for the headset capability that we talked about. And it says that it has a three multicolored capacitive touch mute indicators, which was the indicators that I showed you guys here, as you can see right there. It is PoE, power over ethernet, as you can see, because I am not using any power adapters except our Cat5 cable that's coming from my PoE switch. And that is gigabit, and that is a gigabit pass-through, as you guys saw on the back of it that I showed you on the underbelly. It says that it has three cardioid microphones, so it's got pretty good uh, sound capabilities as far as being able to pick up voice. And it says that it has an approximate six meter to 20 foot microphone pickup range, and that is just absolutely incredible. Call handling features include, but are not limited to, up to three line capability. And it also says that it has support for Skype for business and Microsoft Teams. It says that it has shared call, bridged line appearance, distinctive incoming call, call timer, call waiting, call transfer, call hold, call pickup, connected party information for party calling in, one touch speed dial, meeting to join, live five-way audio conferencing, do not disturb, and much more. Okay, so what do I think about the Poly Real Presence Trio 8800? Pros and cons. Let's start with the pros. First and foremost, I love the design. It's a little big. If you're looking for a small conference phone, it's definitely not the smallest, but again, it's a conference phone and keep in mind that it's got big range on it. So big range means you gotta have big speakers. I absolutely love the speakers. The fact that the whole freaking thing is practically a speaker. The second thing that I like is the screen. The screen is not the biggest that I've seen, but it's one of the more vibrant ones that I've seen. And I really like just the way that it's laid out and the way that you can just very easily get to the different functions into the different features on it and whatnot. I do wish that the screen responsiveness was a little better on it compared to some other touchscreen conference phones that I've seen, but it's decent. It seems like it's got some good processing power to it. The other thing that I really like about it is the not only power over ethernet gigabit pass-through, but the fact that this has an actual pass-through on it and it has the ability for you to go out to another internet capable device. That's a very rare thing on even a lot of other flagship conference style IP phones that I've seen. And even most most entry-level conference IP phones never have the actual second port to pass through to something else. Okay, so moving on to cons. What do I not like about this thing? Honestly, I could only think of one thing, you guys, and that one thing is just the touch screen responsiveness is not the best. I mean, I'm not saying it's horrible. I'm not saying that the touch screen responsiveness on this phone is anything that should merit you from not looking at this as a viable option if you're looking for something that's a little bit more of a premium conference phone that's got really good range, but I noticed that a lot of times when I press something on the touch screen, it takes a while for it to respond and go to what I wanted. It's not all the time, but it's when I'm hitting some functions. And honestly, to be fair, that could be something that's probably easily fixable. So that's the only con that I could think of. For those of you who are wondering, the Poly Real Presence Trio 8800 goes for approximately $800 to $900 US, depending on where you get it from. Do I think it's worth that price? Absolutely. The Poly Trio 8300, which we reviewed in a different video, which is quite a bit more entry level than this phone. I want to say that phone goes for somewhere around about $499 to $600, so four to $600. So do I think spending the extra three to 400 to get the epic range that this has, the bigger speakers, the more sensitive microphones, and the big touch screen? Yeah, I think that's well worth it if you're looking for a premium conference phone 
for your office. For those of you who are watching this video, hit that like button if you found this video interesting or helpful. And also let me know in the comments below what you think about this phone. What are your honest thoughts and first impressions? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? What do you like the most about it? And what do you think about it in comparison to the other one that we reviewed, the Poly Trio 8300, which of course I'll tag in this video. As always, this is Prince Rich with Rich Technology Group, your go-to guy for the best deals on business phone and internet service in the United States. I'll catch you guys again in the next video.